All right, so you want to put one of these hitches on your trailer. I'll show you how to take one off and then you just kind of do it backwards. You'll see there's uh, four little slots, well, two holes and two slots up here in the top. And that's an optional mount. You don't need it according to the instructions. So uh, I have them in, but they're supposed to be there just to make you feel good, not required. So I've gone ahead and taken them out. Next thing is you got these three, little set nuts here inch and an eighth uh, wrench to get them off and then you're going to start loosening these three square head bolts once they're loose this thing's going to drop right down normally when I'm installing them I have the trailer jacked way up I just put this thing on the tailgate so I can kind of work underneath it hopefully it all uh, comes together for you but I don't want to unlevel my trailer and everything now so what I've done I've just gone and got a little assistant here a little wooden chair and uh, I'm gonna try and loosen those three bolts and it should just drop down all right that comes off pretty quick drops down you see there's three little indents in there and that's where those set screws go in next step is to take this adapter off or in your case to put it on you need an allen key Pretty straightforward. So yeah, once you get those Allen keys backed off far enough, drop right off and there you are back to your original pin. This adapter does say top front on it. You gotta have that obviously pointing forward, that way your, your whole hitch assembly is gonna be in line when you're ready to go. Okay. So now you got that all hooked up to your trailer, obviously, and you're going to back in. Now, unlike a fifth wheel, you don't just jam her in. You have to back it over top of the ball and then let your trailer down on the ball. Gone ahead and got that ball in there. Oh, it's not locked. Hold on a second. It won't fall out of the truck. There we go. That's locked in now. We'll just leave it like that. Of course, you got a little bit of play. When you get back the trailer over, that's just going to pop down like that. It's just like this. On this side, there's a lock. One says lock, one says unlock. Bob's your uncle. Easy as greasy. Not coming off. It's not a fifth wheel, so you got to use your little hooies here. Safety chains. Piece of pie. It's full of grease. Don't wear your Sunday clothes. Okay, right there in front of you, you see your adapter and the three uh, tools you will need to install it. Allen key for the adapter. Three quarter inch for the box end bolts. And a one and a one eighth for those uh, lock nuts. Send along uh, some uh, tools, a uh, set of ratchets too. Jug of oil check it it's a ford it uses it all right this is your uh, brake control um hmm, my battery is a little low anyhow um pretty straightforward i have it all calibrated i've got it set to 10 and here i give you the uh, book of instructions and pretty straightforward. The only thing you're looking at is all instructions, blah, blah, blah. Uh, mm -hmm. Tow vehicle eight. It goes up right up to 10,000. And your trailer weight up to 18,000. So. I think this thing weighs around 8,000, the truck, and then your trailer is in around here. So 10 is kind of in the middle. If you find that it's not uh, breaking hard enough for you, you just go in there and press up. The higher the number, the more it's going to break. Ten. 
if the trailer becomes disconnected electrically, uh, this thing will tell you no trailer detected. It'll get all mad. Uh, you have to press the button to reset it. You can also, of course, manually test your brakes. If you're driving slow, you can just kind of push this button in and feel if your trailer brakes are working. Um, there's two electrical plugs. There's one in the bed and one down below. They both should work. They both worked last time I used them. As for the truck, the truck does not have a tow haul mode. Uh, one thing about the O2 Fords, it's got a uh, overdrive off switch. So I usually just leave it in, run it in drive. And then if, if I find it shifting in and out of overdrive a lot, I'll just turn the overdrive off and you can run like that. No problem. If it's running fine, quite often, if you're on flat parts of the highway, I can run an overdrive with my trailer. Um, of course, there's trans temp and regular temp there. Keep an eye on that. But uh, what I'll do is, uh, you know, if, I, if I'm in overdrive, I'll, uh, and if I see a hill coming, you know, before I start going up the hill, I'll kick it down and get the revs up rather than uh, making the, the trucks a little slow to shift down. Uh, other than that, I changed the oil. You should be good to go. Enjoy your new RV.